John, the reason I've come to see you is because you've got the most enormous collection of soup recipes I've ever come across. You have soup on the menu every day here, don't you? Every day, yes. And I find them very filling and satisfying and super. There's some lovely titles like cabbage with smoked bacon and carrot with coriander and uh, that lovely one, tomato, apple and celery, which is one of my own favourites. Do you have any secrets that you can pass on? Well, of course, the secret of the success is basically always to buy whatever is fresh in season. Uh, if you don't use the best fresh produce, you're not going to get a good soup. Uh, so that's the first thing. You must always use what is in season and what is best available on the market. But the method w which we do our soup is rather slightly different because we don't cook our vegetables in the stock. We melt the four ounces of butter and cook off quite gently the eight ounces of chopped onions until they're nice and gold. So you always have eight ounces of onions and four ounces of butter? For, exactly. Mm -hmm. Four ounces of butter, eight ounces of onions, and then you use two pounds of vegetables. For the soup we're going to do today, we've divided those 32 ounces into three, and we've got 10 ounces of apple, mm -hmm. 10 ounces of celery, mm -hmm. and 10 ounces of tomatoes. We've picked out small tomatoes and left the tops on them, and we've also left the skins on them. And what you do, when the onions are nice and gold, you throw all the vegetables into the saucepan. And you add a quarter of a pint of sherry. Then you take a large piece of greaseproof paper and you wet it under the tap and then spread it out over the vegetables and slightly up the sides of the saucepan and then put the lid on. So that they're sealed underneath the greaseproof paper? Completely sealed. Now, it, it's just like cooking them up in a Turkish bath. They're going to sit there for 40 <laughs> minutes, sweating and simmering and bubbling. 40 minutes? 40 minutes, but all the goodness is going to be retained. There's no escape. None of the kind of flavour is going to escape. Um, and then at the end of the 40 minutes, you take the lid off, take the paper off, and just see that they're cooked, just slightly fallen. Add your stock. Why do you add the stock afterwards? I mean, I always cook my soups with the stock in at the beginning. Well, I've found that you get more flavour. Now, when you've got the stock joined in with the vegetables, then you liquidise your soup, don't you? Oh, yes. Well, I always, always liquidise them and then pass them through a sieve. You've got the skins and the tops of the tomatoes That's in. Right. Uh, that's presumably to give even more flavour. Even more flavour, absolutely. Yes. If you're doing an artichoke soup, for instance, I never peel the artichokes, I'll no. scrub them, because the flavour's in the skin. Yes, that's and very wise. And then you must always pass your soup through a sieve. And the best way to pass them through a sieve is to get a sieve, of course, and then get a soup ladle, because the shape of the soup ladle follows the contour of the sieve. And so when you're turning round and round, the soup will fall quite quickly through into the saucepan. Just as we're about to serve the soup, which is piping hot, it's steaming, we've been adding some fresh apple. And so when you eat it, you get this lovely crunchy uh, texture along with the smooth. A twirl of cream, sprinkle on some chives, and it's ready to go in.